Grade 7, so welcome to the first class of um, natural science. Uh, we're going to talk in this term about life and living. Okay, so we're going to start there with stand one, uh, strand one, uh, bio uh, biosphere. Um, you can follow me in your textbook um, from page 8 till 15. Okay, so firstly, we're going to ask the question, uh, what is the biosphere? Biosphere is where life exists. All life exists inside, uh, within the biosphere, or inside of the biosphere. The biosphere consists out of three plot, parts, namely the atmosphere, that is air, the lithosphere, that is soil and rocks, and then uh, lastly, the hydrosphere, that is water. Okay, so that is a three parts of the biosphere. All plants and animals and microorganisms live inside of the biosphere. The biosphere's energy comes um, from the sun through the process of photosynthesis. So it is very important uh, to remember that. Remember the photosynthesis process uses uh, light energy um, and it produces food and also oxygen for us. Organisms that live in the water is called aquatic and, and, and organisms that live on the land is called terrestrial. Plants and animals uh, need each other. They are, um, uh, they are dependent upon each other. Plants provide shelter for animals, but um, animals also spread the seeds and pollen of plants. Nutrients, uh, uh, the seven life processes, it what, uh, this is what all living organisms depend upon. Okay, so firstly we need the nutrients, like food to eat, we, uh, growth to take place. Um, also then reproduction is where organisms reproduce uh, sexually or asexually according to their own kind. Okay, remember as you are growing, you are replacing damaged tissue, okay, respiration, uh, respiration is where we um, actually is breathing and energy is um, distributed, flows from one form to another, excretion is where I get um, sweating, uh, urinating um, and also um, you know, getting rid of feces. Um, is um, excretion sensitivity for uh, for my environment you'll see that all plants and animals uh, adapt to the environment um, especially they are sensitive and then lastly all um, animals and plants can move um, obviously plants are actually um, um, limited to their movement but, uh, but animals can um, move uh, around freely. So this is the seven life processes um, that living organisms have. Okay, non-living factors. Non-living factors are what um, living factors are dependent upon this non-living factors. And the non-living factors in this part here is um, sunlight. Uh, sunlight, uh, we also have water. We have air, we have temperature, and then we have soil, we have a slope, and also we have fire. Um, that, uh, that is all the non-living organisms that living organisms depend upon. Requirements for seedling germination. When I plant a seed into the soil, that, plant, that seed needs water, it needs temperature, it needs soil to grow in, it needs... Um, different kinds of gases that can be carbon dioxide that can be um, also oxygen and nitrogen and also um, lastly it needs energy from the sun to be able to um, grow inside of the soil and become a big plant Next slide, we talk about biodiversity. Bio means life and diversity means different. Okay, so we're going to talk about the different kinds of life 
that we find in um, nature. So you can follow me on page 16. Biodiversity refers to all the living organisms, that is plants, animals and microorganisms that lives inside of their own habitat. Okay, so, um, or a living space. Um, remember, we also um, take um, plants and animals according to a classification. We put them um, in different um, categories together so that we can organize their existence. Uh, Linnaeus was the first guy that started with the classification system and uh, from there on he actually um, made it um, made animals and plants into different um, categories so that we can understand it a bit. So here's just a few Afrikaans and English words um, so that uh, we can see um, this is part of the classification um, system that Linnaeus actually provided for us. Now let us go on. We talk about the five kingdoms of life. Now all living organisms uh, are divided in these five kingdoms. First, the first kingdom is bacteria, then we have protista, we have fungi, we have plants and we have animals. So this is the five kingdoms of life. Let us talk about them in more detail. Bacteria is microscopic. They, are, they have no nucleus, one, uh, no cell nucleus. They are used to produce cheese and yogurt. Remember we get um, bad bacteria that can cause uh, illnesses and sicknesses like, the, uh, like lung diseases and um, but we got a good bacteria that helps us to uh, produce yogurt and, um, and cheese. Then protista, um, the mal malaria parasite is one of the, um, is in the family of protista. Parasites are inside of that family. Then we have fungi that you know of mushrooms that uh, some people eat and love. Uh, we got athletes food and we got also that bread malt. If you left your bread for a long time, you will see the malt growing on the bread. That is part of fungi plants. Um, they, they produce their own food and oxygen by the process of photosynthesis. Um, they also uh, serve as food for animals. It includes algae and um, seaweed. Um, that's part of the plants. And uh, I mean, we can think about a lot of plants. Um, they are the only producers. Um, so then we also have um, animals. Animals eat plants and other animals. Like if you talk about um, um, carnivores and herbivores and omnivores, and they can move freely around as well. So this is the five kingdoms of life that we have here. The difference between animals and plants. Let us just have a look here and uh, nutrition. We talk about um, the differences between animals and plants. Nutrition uh, with plants of the process of photosynthesis. Remember this is the most important process on earth um, where um, animals produce their own food and also oxygen. Um, animals eat plants, uh, they can't produce food, they eat plants and other animals. Uh, their movement are limited, uh, plants limited and animals can move around freely. Uh, reproduction is asexually and sexually, but at animals it is mostly sexually. So um, this is the difference between plants and animals if you just look at that three categories. Let us just have a few, uh, a few minutes time to look at this classification of humans. We talk about the kingdom, we can talk about the film and different. This is how um, things are um, categorized in, um, in, um, in everything.